Hi, this is Dr. Frederick. Uh, a question from a student on how you calculate uh, the critical value for F. And, uh, of course, not a calculation, it's a lookup. You need to look it up somewhere, but let's just run through this problem. not sure exactly what problem this is, um, but, uh, you know, the student asked me the question and asked the instructor um, through my stat lab. That comes to me as an email. I do not uh, answer those questions to an individual student. I always uh, ask that uh, we use the Ask the Instructor board in the course uh, to answer questions for all students. And it's okay to send me that question, but I'll just copy it and post it in the uh, Ask the Instructor discussion board um, with, with uh, my answer for it. Now here's the problem. We're essentially, this is an ANOVA table. Uh, here's where the degrees of freedom goes, and, and these are the calculations that you have. Now, you can fill out the degrees of freedom just by looking at things. Um, 20 degrees of freedom is the total. It's going to be split up uh, some way here. Um, I think 18 and 1 probably, but... You know, then you get your sums and squares from your calculations. You divide the sums and squares by the degrees of freedom. You divide one of these by the other to get the F ratio. Now, I always just, you know, go in and view an example of how you do it, and so here's what they want from you. And, um, they tell you uh, the formulas for the degrees of freedoms. These are the values that uh, you obtain through calculations, your mean squares and so forth and then they show you well, somehow I thought there was 20 degrees of freedom there's just 11 but okay so look they show you how to fill in the square they're going to give you an F ratio of 6 and you want to know if that's significant and significant means exceeding the critical value so what is a critical value anyway a critical value is look let's let's just run some data under the null hypothesis in which there are no differences among groups. You know, we, we can make data like that. There's no difference among groups. We can just make the data. Let's make the data a hundred times and we'll find the uh, 95th percentile for the F value, meaning we'll find the point at which 95 percent of the F uh, values are lower that'll be our critical value. Now, 5% of the time, F values are higher. We get bad answers. We know the null hypothesis is, is true. We, we made data under that uh, condition. But this is how we do hypothesis testing. We, we allow ourselves to have an error in one way so that we can make decisions. All right, so the question is, how do you find the F critical value if we continue with this problem? Here it says right here um, that for the selected level of significance alpha, our alpha is probably 0.05, the upper, we could have alpha equals 0.01, make it a much more harder test. The upper tail critical value uh, F sub alpha or F at 0.05 from the F distribution has C minus 1 degrees of freedom in the numerator and N minus C degrees of freedom in the denominator. Note that for this problem C minus 1 equals 3 and N minus C equals 8. So we want to find the critical value for degrees of freedom 3 and 8. That's what we need to know. And we'll go to a table that we can uh, uh, look in our book for. Here's a table I got off the internet. I use this uh, Google search value, ANOVA critical value calculator, and instead of a calculator, I just got this. So, uh, 3 and 8 should be something like 4.07. Okay, so we find 3 and 8, and let's see if that's what they got here. 4.07. If you don't have a, you know, the books come with the table in the back. If you don't have a book, uh, which this student's book hasn't come yet, 
then we find the critical value with 3 and 8 degrees of freedom is 4.07. That's how you find that out. Now let's just go back here for a second. And let's go back. I think there's probably just a way uh, to... Uh, let's go to this. Here, just statistic calculators. Uh, from summary data. That's not it. We're looking for the critical value. Let's just look for a couple. You can stop the watching now if you uh, already know how to do this. But let's just see if we can uh, find one. Well, I'm not going to take any more time to look at it, but you can find these tables. I know you can find a calculator. It just takes a little bit of time to, to get through these websites uh, to, to find the one that you want. I hope that's helpful to you. Uh, let me know if you have any more questions about it.